Final slots for Stanbic Uganda Cup quarterfinal puzzle up for grabs. St. Noah brace for Lady Dove's challenge. Uganda Cranes embark on preparations for AFCON qualifier, doubleheader against Tanzania. This week has had knockout football dominate the competition schedule, and the weekend will not be any different. The battle for slots to the quarterfinals of this year's Stambik Uganda Cup continues with several teams seeking to join the likes of Vipers, Bull, Express, and Soltito Bright Stars, who have already made the cut to the last eight. The FUFA Women's Cup, equally this weekend, is at the round of 16 stage, and several exciting fixtures are lined up. Vipers SC began a new era under coach Alex Isavidye on a good note, dumping out Wakiso Giants from the Stanbic Uganda Cup. The Venoms, who had neither won nor scored a goal in their previous seven games, eventually got a goal with Ashraf Mandela scoring the equalizer to cancel out Sharif Chimboa's volley. Ah! How about that from Chimboa Sharif? And the purple shots! Take the lead. For the third time this season, Vipers required penalties to advance. In the 10th shootout, Vipers came clean, scoring all their takes, while Fabian Mutambora saved Norman Ogeek's effort before Tom Masiko was denied by the woodwork. Express FC breezed into the quarterfinals with relative ease, thumping Paida Black Angels 4-0 at Matessa 2 Stadium, Wang Kurukuku. Frank Sechanzi opened the scores as early as the ninth minute before Boban Zirintusa came through with a brace. Anwar Ntege put the icing on the cake with a second half goal as the Red Eagle sailed through. To secure the remaining four, KCCA FC, who led the table in the Star Times Uganda Premier League, has Imbarara City as their hurdle. In the other quarterfinal fixtures, Ajumani Town Council hosts Bunyaruguru United. Chitara takes on Calvary, while Police FC will be at home to Indeji University. Knockout competitions are always characterized by surprises, and St. Noah girls are hoping to get one over Lady Doves this Saturday at African Bible University in Laboa. Coach Jimmy Mukubia is confident his charges have the ability to overcome their opponents. I are prepared, so we are building our girls to get experience with those, those teams. With the football, they don't fear, because now they are used. Uh, with the late doubts, they are experienced, they are in the Super League, they have experience, but uh, with my girls, they want to qualify for quarterfinals. In other games, Isra Soccer Academy, who eliminated Chambogo University, will hope to dump out another university side as they face holders Makere Day. High-flying Kowepe Muslim take on UCU Lady Cardinals. Uganda Martyrs travel to Fort Portal to face the She Game. Orida High School visits She Corporate. Asubo Gafford Ladies take on Geico Girls. Rennes FC entertains Sheen Marines, while Kampala Queens face Toro Queens. Uganda Cranes start preparations for the forthcoming 2023 Africa Cup of Nations qualifier, doubleheader against Tanzania this weekend, with a regional tour game against Chitara Region Select team. After the game, coach Milton Sundovic will name the local base players that will travel to Egypt on Sunday. Uganda will host Tanzania on 24th March at Suez Canal Authority Stadium before the two face off four days later in Dal Salaam. Where Ugandans are playing and now we have collected a selection of the players that will uh, take Tanzania in double header that is so important to us in order uh, to go back to the drawing board uh, and, and to uh, look to qualify to the Africa Cup of Nations. We are looking to set ourselves in the best possible uh, mood and mode uh, that will give us good performance and result based on the talent and quality we are having with our players.